Welcome along guys, well we are at Destination Triumph in Washington to do a little bit of a revisit vid video really. I borrowed the Rocket 3 GT back in January, absolutely loved it. The GT is the one with the forward facing uh, foot pegs, it's a tour, you know, capacity to take luggage etc. But I never tried the R version, so today we're taking both these bikes out for the day. Bit of a trip down to the seaside to see which ones we prefer, but it's not just me doing this. It's a bit of a dual test with Greg. So this is going to be very interesting. I can't wait to get back on these bikes again. Roll the intro, Jopsy. All right, you got everything? Yeah, so I'll start on the GT, so because what I know, you've ridden the GT before, Greg, haven't you? I you have you've tried yet. the GT, none yeah. of us have tried the R, so I'll be, you, if you go on the R first, I'll go on the GT, just to reacquaint ourselves with them. But these bikes are monsters, two and a half litre, triple, incredible. What, they 140 new metres of torque or something ridiculous? No, they're more than that, aren't they? 140 new metres, that's pittance! Right, this, uh, oh yeah, oh wow, yeah, I love this position. It's really early on yeah, this. Yeah, it does, <laughs> I, I love that position. Oh yeah, this is uh, <laughs> so comfortable, so comfortable. Oh, it's, it's lovely, isn't it, eh? It's absolutely initial impression straight out of the gate. Oh, ridiculous riding position compared to anything that I ride normally. It's so smooth, but isn't it? It's so smooth. The power delivery is just, well, it's not, nothing like it, is there really? So instant. It's instant, it's almost got that Super Duke punch, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. It is Super Dukey, but smoother. I do like the GT seat where you're in, you've moulded into the seat. Yeah. It, it, is that, what's that? Does it feel a bit more, what's it feel like, the position on that, is it? This actually, to be honest with you, surprisingly, is quite a stretch to the bars. So you're reaching forward, you're sort of hunked over the front a little bit. This is, this is super comfortable, absolutely super comfortable. I'm, I'm interested to try that one because I, I think if I'm going to get a big cruiser, it almost feel like I've got to go the whole hog. Well, not the hog, yeah. but the, the, the whole position and everything, you know? The whole hog would be a Harley, surely. Oh, that's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, <hey! laughs> oh, Jesus. It's got some punch! It certainly has. <laughs> I just feel like I can ride this all day. And it's probably just as well, because that's what we're going to be doing. <laughs> Tell you what I like already. We're only doing like 65, 60, and it feels really enjoyable. If you know what I mean, without the need to go absolute banzai, even though if you just give it a bit of a tug on the throttle, it is instant pull. It just brings a grin to your face, doesn't it? Come through, let's have a look at you. Come alongside. I'll come through. Let's, let's have a look at the R. Hey, that's good. Oh, this is so much fun. Oh, it's a bit weird on the side of the tire. <laughs> it's, a bit, it's a bit weird leaning it over when you've got your feet forward. That, that takes a little bit of getting used to, doesn't it? Whoa! <laughs> oh my god, it's so good. Yeah, it feels it feels a bit odd handling, but it doesn't it doesn't feel bad and it's actually the suspension is um it's plush but not quite firm and I don't mean that in terms of uncomfortable. It, it's nice actually. It's sporty, isn't it? It's sporty, yeah, it's sporty. but plush, isn't it? Yeah. Which definitely. is a perfect combination for me. You wouldn't want it to be any softer because I think it would feel barge like. <laughs> I think it was spinning up a bit then. <laughs> the traction control was like keeping it in check then. It's like riding an armchair. <laughs> an armchair with handles. <laughs> it's just finding those feet positions when you pull away when you're not used to yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. Soon you get used to it though. Once yeah, you do, you absolutely. It's, ama it's amazing how quickly you do get used to it. That's, that's the thing with it. You think you're going to really struggle, but it does feel natural like that. Yeah. Maybe I'm just a born again uh, cruiser man. But if you were into the cruising scene, how you could not buy one of these and get a Harley, I don't get it. Because having ridden a few Harleys over the years, and there's nothing wrong with Harleys, I don't want to criticise any Harley rider, but they feel very, very old school. The handling's, well, there is no handling. Um, 
you know, and the headstocks are a little bit loose. You can feel it sort of rattling around a little bit. They're just an acquired taste. This is just cruiser on steroids, smooth, quick, and you can just have more fun on it, uh, in my view. You've had, uh, you've actually owned a Victory as well, didn't you? A Victory Cruiser. Victory Hammer S. Um, yeah, probably a, quite a while ago now, actually, probably about 10 years ago. And that was, at the time, quite a long way ahead than the Harleys to ride. It was actually quite sporty in relative terms for a cruiser. This is sort of like, yeah, this is like the next leap again, and some, I would say. But I think we found the bike, haven't we, when we get a little bit older? Oh, absolutely. A little bit older, I'm thinking next year. <laughs> yeah, that, if I had the room and the money, there would be one of these in the garage. Yeah, I think so. I, I, even the, the time I spent with this bike already and just riding this initially now, absolutely. Yeah, I think it'd be one of those things that in 10 years time when the Eurocrats get their way, things like these may be a thing of the past and it's just amazing, isn't it? Two and a half thousand cc of muscle. Muscle, was it? I think it's 220 new meters of torque. 220 it's and uh, I think 170 brake horsepower. So it's almost the same power as the Super Duke, but with another 50 new meters of torque or something. Admittedly, it's another 80 kilos heavier, but you can't fault the engine at all, no. can you? The no. fueling, the power delivery, the, the vibrations, it's so smooth. Definitely. I mean, you'd, you, you'd you think definitely. a two and a half litre triple, the size of those pistons, oh. they must be like Dulux <laughs> paintings literally going up and down. <laughs> and you, you really can't feel it, can you? No. It is, it is so smooth, you just cannot fool that engine at all. No, I agree. But you, you couldn't not like it because it's so well balanced and sorted. It's incredible. I'm going to start thinking about some of the bad bits in a minute because otherwise it's going to sound like <laughs> this biking perfection. It's like how much I try and paint these guys to... Uh... I know, exactly. No, it's not that. My criticism at the moment on the looks are for the R model, in my opinion, they need to do nice Solaria colours. I think the GT paint job looks really nice with that sticker kit, I presume it's stickers. And it looks nice. I think I prefer the rear wheel of that one as well, where it looks a bit more machined than this one. Yeah, I forgot the wheels are different, you're right, yeah. Yeah, so I think the GT looks better from a paint job point of view. But I'm sure when you buy, you know, next year, 2021, they might bring out new colours, might they? They'll always have a black, and I think the black looks good. I think that is a bit of a criticism of Triumph in general, across the whole range, really. I think you're right, John. They're modern bikes. The, the paint job, other than that GT, they're a bit shit, aren't they? This is a life of day. It's not so shabby, is it? Nice, isn't it? Not too shabby. There's a bridge here, I think, isn't it? Yeah, there's a bridge here. Yeah, he's a tight and twisty. He's a test these old, big old girls on. If they can handle this well, then you can handle, on, yeah. handle anything, can't they? Really? You're out of the seat, then. I know. <laughs> They do actually handle amazingly well, don't they? Well, the it's GT it. does anyway. Honestly, this is you could you could you could worry some sports bikes on it, I think. Yeah, definitely. But I mean, you don't you don't get masses of feedback from the sort of the road. You get a quite a bit, don't you? Yeah. But it is a cruiser after all. You know, you're not going to exactly. want too much feedback. I think they've got the level of feedback pretty much spot on. So these are so, because the size of those front tyres so massive. And you still can feel what the time is doing, can't you? Yeah. I suspect yours is probably maybe even a little bit more feedback than on this. I just pull off that pull out of the bends. Well, I've got to say, John, that road is pretty twisty. That you know, that's a good supermoto road to put it into perspective, isn't it? You know, I don't know, I don't know how many people buy these bikes that ride quickly anyway. But the but the point is, you can. You can, yeah. You can, and you can do it, and it is rewarding to do it. You don't feel like you're fighting it, do you? No, 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 at all. You don't feel like it's. You don't feel like you're pushing it out of its comfort zone. No. There's the odd little time where I've hit a bump and it's got it a little bit like, over that little jump there. Yeah, yeah. When that sort of came down, it was a little bit like. Oh. Well, mine, mine shimmied when it came down there. Yeah, yeah. It didn't like that. No. But I mean, you know, I don't think you're really meant to be doing jumps on them anyway. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but a normal road riding, it, it, you know. It loves it, doesn't it? It feels like it loves it. It doesn't feel like you're pushing it out of its comfort zone. It feels like it's absolutely lapping it up. <laughs> it's like hustling the Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> I 
You feel so low on it, don't you? Yeah. When you go on the bend, it's like... It does just fall into the bends, doesn't it? You don't really, I don't really think I'm having to counter steer it too much either. It's actually really engaging because you have to, you have to wrestle it a bit. So you, you've got to really think about what you're doing. It's amazing that you can do those sorts of roads and be fun. I mean, that, that is the ultimate test really. Because I know we've said before, if a bike doesn't handle, I'm not interested. Do you know what I mean? A bike has to handle, I don't care what it is. Oh yeah, I'm not in the slightest bit bored. And actually, you don't feel like you're going slowly. Well, you're not going slowly, but because you have to wrestle it a little bit, it's actually quite engaging, isn't it? Here he is, look. Mr. Chopsy Chops. Ah, oh, very good. Suits you, sir. Yeah, I, I could uh, I could be tempted. You could ride to Scotland on one of these. You could go to the Isle of Man. You could go to Europe. You know, I think this notion that you need massive weather protection, I don't get because, you know, provided you stick to no more than sort of 70, 75, this is absolutely fine. Yeah, Easy. Yeah. You know, it keeps the speed down so you're not getting nicked the whole time. You can get past the traffic. What do you want? And even on that one, you get saddlebags, don't you, John? <laughs> no, that's just me ass, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Well, first little sum up of the GT. I love it. I can't see how the R can be any better. Well, you'll find out in a minute. What's your verdict on the uh, on the R then? Yes. I um, I really, really like it. I think I, I can't see how I'd want to go for that one, but yeah. Who knows? Let's, ha let's have a look. What do you think, looks wise? I, th I think the R does look better, doesn't it? Without the the rear pillion grab and yeah, I think so. There's not a lot in it though, is there? To be honest with you. I don't think that I, my decision will be based on the looks because there's not a lot of difference, is there? And I think the paint job of that one is nicer. Yeah. And I prefer the rear wheel personally of uh, and the front wheel with the chrome rim. I'm going on the R now. I'm really interested to see what this is like. I thought the seat was different, but the seat is a uh, still got that nice sculpted seat, isn't it? I think that's going to be... Uh... Oh Looking forward God, to this. Like, How's that pit? feel? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure it will feel fine, but at the moment it feels weird, foreign. There's still anything there? The kickstand, the, the, the footrests are right over the way the kickstand yeah, is. Yeah, they, they are. I agree. Yeah, it feels. It feels weird, doesn't it? This just feels really weird after riding that. This feels like I've literally. I've got home already, and I'm sat in the armchair in the lounge. <laughs> It's weird riding the same bike, isn't it? But it's so different. It, this is that is a lot more of a stretch to the bars, John. Don't you think? Yeah, you, you're you're way up like on this, and you're forward. The bars are wide. The bars feel wider as well, don't they? I get this is more sporty. This is definitely more. This is definitely more sporty. Yeah, it's it's very similar, isn't it? Yeah. I've, I've almost forgotten already that you're in a different position on this one. Yeah. The, it, it's much higher. I think you're going to be yeah. much more levering it into the corners with yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. That we're using bit, those wide it's bars. More conventional, that one, isn't it? Yes, it feels more natural, doesn't it? You just get yeah. on it, and it just feels like a big bruising, naked almost. Yeah. I think it's better from a sporty perspective in the twisties. This, I can tell already. You can give it that leverage. I think so. The bars are wider, aren't they? I'm not convinced that that what the R is. It's not uncomfortable, but it's not. It's not totally natural riding position, I don't think. It's, it's sort of, it's neither one thing nor the other. This is completely cruiser, isn't it? And and you know, and it is what it is. And you either like that or you don't like it. But it is definitely just cruiser. That is a bit. bit yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> the feet, you're not, your feet are still a little bit forward on that, aren't they? Well, I don't know. They are a bit. It's it's definitely wider. You're, you're right upright, aren't you? You're completely yeah. upright on this, whereas that, you're sort of laid back, aren't you? Yeah. I think that is a more comfortable position than this. I think I think my arse will struggle on this with it getting sore with the weight on it. I don't know, though, because the seat does cup you quite nicely, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it cups your buttocks. <laughs> oh, so much go. I've got to say, though, they are both really good fun. Aren't they? I mean, it's just good. It just really is good fun. And you, they're so quick. So quick, aren't they? They're like electric, aren't they? They're so performance-wise. It's so hard to just choose. If I was buying one of these, I'd be really torn as to which one to get. I think that the, I may be completely wrong, I think the GT will sell more than the R. So when it comes to resale, I think the GT may be a better bet. 
Yeah, you could be right. It's a bit more practical, isn't it? With the I think so. With the pillion rest and stuff as well. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I'd be interested to, to know from Triumph how many of each they've sold thus far. Coming through. <laughs> I think, to be honest with you, I prefer the R. Do you? You're feeling R, are you? Yeah, I think I, I, I think I prefer it. I think it still feels relaxed, but it's just a little bit more normal, and therefore I find it a little bit easier to ride. You can literally just pin oh, no. it in first <laughs> gear. <laughs> you can just absolutely pin it and it just it all stays in check. Yeah. And you just go Boo! Can we see what's coming? Yeah! It's all clear mate. Apart from it's raining now. Oh the shower. There's a shower! We might be able to outrun it on these. My feet are getting blown off the pegs. That's those fairy trousers you got on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is what's good about this app, you see. Do you know what I mean? It just takes you on these really cool little lanes. I know, it's lush. It's exactly the sort of road you want to ride on, isn't it? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, the mirror's in the actual <laughs> bushes. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> Power! Let's do a little blast up here, go on. Ready? Nothing behind, is it? <laughs> From first gear, before we start. Yeah, three, two, one, go. Yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> They're so fast, aren't they? It's quick. They're just so easy to ride like that, aren't they? Because it just does it all for you. Like when we were doing that drag race the other week, they were just both wheeling continuously, weren't they? I know, and yeah. this is no, it's no, no hint of a wheelie, is there? <laughs> Even if you want to. <laughs> Do we have a little swap back again? Yeah, okay. And that would be a good way, good test then, wouldn't it? What's the verdict of the R then, John? Uh, I don't know. It's so hard to tell. I think I need to get back on that again, and I think yeah. the first impressions when I get on that again, Will, will tell me what I prefer yeah. but I, th I think it's very very close I think you know that that one's offers a bit more comfort I think than this yeah yeah, yeah. and so I go and straight all, over there John yeah yeah uh, Sorry, yeah straight over there yeah and I think it all depends what you want from your cruiser doesn't it yeah, yeah. that's the thing if you want ultimate comfort to do some distance on and but still you know still sporty and everything Oh, I'm, I'm still unsure. Well, as you say, get get on it and see what you think. I'll do the same. They just look incredible, don't they? Especially a pair of them. Amazing. A pair of these out in the wild. You know, we've ridden so many bikes and owned so many bikes, haven't we? You know, supermotos, naked, super naked, sports bikes. And bizarrely, they're as much fun as all of those. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm really surprised. There's a little bit of everything in these, isn't there? There's a little bit of supermoto, a little bit. There's yeah. a sports bike. You know, there's, there's all, it's a combination of a lot of different bikes. And I think unlike a traditional cruiser, you can still hoon a little bit. And that's what would put me off a traditional cruiser. And I think the Diavel probably does fit into that category as well. I think the Diavel will handle better and it'll be quicker in terms of real quicker, not naught to 60, because clearly these are ridiculous. But I, bef I much prefer the look of these to the Diavel. I'm not sure about the Diavel personally. They're a bit weird, aren't they? Yeah, it's a bit of an, an acquired taste. That's what, maybe that's the next test, one of these <laughs> compared to a Diavel. Maybe, uh, yeah. And so we're actually doing reviews of the bikes as part of the channel. Yeah. Where can I see this? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's on... On, on YouTube. On YouTube, oh no, I'm not on YouTube. Yeah, you're not. Right, back on the GT. This is a decider, this is the one, this is where I'm going to be putting my money. This is the decision. <sighs> Which gonna, is better? I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it. Hang on, I've got to see if I can start the thing this time. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Mail baby. Good morning, future owner, it says. Good morning. Oh, I don't know, mate. I, th I think I prefer this. Well, I think, John, that is fantastic because I prefer this. Do you? I do. <laughs> so, no, I think it's good, though, isn't it? Because 
it, it goes to show actually that both are good and it is just a personal preference over the riding position. But the, your knees are a lot more bent on this one, I've noticed straight away. Yeah, this, this for me is a lot more comfortable. Yeah, I feel, that, I feel the same way about this one. But the question is, and maybe it's one for later, would you actually buy one? <coughs> I know where I'm at already. I, 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 I would. I, I, w I really, honestly would love to own this R version. I love it. And I think it is, other than the fact that you can't hustle it in the same way as a Super Duke, I think other than that, and obviously on a private land runway, because I've never done on public roads, because that's highly illegal, you can't wheelie one of these like the Super Duke. I think other than that, which some would argue is a big thing, this is as good as the Super Duke in the sense that you've got that instant grunt, I feel cool on it, uh, and I really I really do mean that. I, I would happily own one of these. Yeah, no, I, I'd, I'd happily, I'd love to own one. Yeah, I, I, I do agree. It is, uh, and it does, it f fulfills a lot of roles, doesn't it, from, a, from yeah. a bike ownership perspective, and I think it could be your only bike. Oh no, I agree. Yeah, you wouldn't, you wouldn't think, well, I've got a cruise, I've got a sports right. bike. You, you could own, you could, I know it's a lot of money, but... I mean, think if you only have one bike, you could justify it, I think, I then. think you could justify it, because it does, I mean, look at the yeah. little roads we're going on here. Do you know what I mean? We're on this little lane, it's, it's great fun on there, they handle, the suspension's plush, we're yeah. not getting, you know, whacked about, and you, or you can sit on the motorway and it will sit and cruise. No, no, I agree. <laughs> and actually, now that we've been riding it for a few hours, um, you know, you start to really bond with it and it feels a lot more normal. I, I, I love it. I love the fact that you can just, as you say, meander along effortless, effortlessly, if I could speak. And then you want to roll, you know, get past a car or whatever and it just blasts you, doesn't it, out. It's so cool. Gravel and greasy. Beautiful. Yeah, time to give it a handful. Whoa! Oh, hey. <laughs> Oh, I think I know where we are. This is the big Cadnam roundabout underneath the M27, yeah? I always wondered what, where that was if you went straight on there. We know this bit ends, don't we? The out. <laughs> he needs a sports bike. Well, we're, Lindhurst is our destination, ladies and gentlemen. Then we're going to go to Weymouth, then we pulled it back to Lymington. And <laughs> no, we pulled it back to Lindhurst. No, we're Lindhurst. It's half one now, we've been riding since half nine. Well, we, we don't know what ten. time it is, do we? I think I can see it now, it's half as, half as one. Those clocks are an hour out. And I'm completely comfortable on this. Normally I'd be getting bloody uh, sore ass. I do find this GT position really comfortable. Not when you're getting any heat off the engine to speak of, are you either? No. Which is quite it's amazing, it's in an exhaust, it's literally right there on your right leg. I can feel a little bit of heat, but... Yeah, uh, yeah, a little bit, but it's not, it's not at all irritating. This is Lindhurst. There's a little uh, garage up here we'll stop at, get a bite to eat. Make, make a good shot in front of the Ferraris and Bentleys and stuff. Ooh, lovely. Well, we've had a bit of a uh, bit of lunch. We've left. Where is it we went? Lind Lindhurst. Lindhurst. Let me go with that. We've left Lindhurst. Had a panini. Stopped for a wee. <laughs> and now we're heading back to Washington. So we're basically done. We've uh, thoroughly enjoyed ourselves with these bikes, haven't we? My fuel lights Very just come so. on. Fortunately, we didn't reset the trip, so that was a bit silly. So I don't know how many miles we've done, but it seems that we've been riding all day. It wasn't an oversight though, in fairness, was it? It was a uh, lack of uh, ability to actually set the it trip. It was, to actually work out how to do it, wasn't it? Yeah. We thought we'd been 1,351 miles and then realised that was the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've, got, I've got 30 miles range still. You've got 50 miles, haven't you? 50 miles four, range. Four, 46 of range now. So that's a bit weird because it should be the same pretty much. And we've been swapping bikes, so it's not like you've been riding harder. Uh, yeah, I, so, think, I think this gauge didn't quite register. I filled it right up. No. For whatever reason. But anyway, 
we'll, put, we'll fill them up now and then we'll see how much fuel we've used but as we didn't record the mileage it's, it's not particularly useful no i think it's i think it's fair to say like mine's saying it's done 37 and a half mile mpg yeah and, um, i might saying i'm 39 miles per gallon so yeah, I, I think late 30s is probably feels say, about right doesn't it in terms of the distance that we've done yeah which agreed. is pretty acceptable i think for something yes. so for two uh, and a half litre engine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> My overarching comment would be, don't let fuel consumption be a reason not to buy this bike. Yeah, no, completely yeah. agree, completely agree. I don't think it's any worse than any no. other sort of litre sports bike. No. It's, that, it's that sort of exactly. fuel consumption level, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe even maybe even less, you know, than the, well, certainly less so. than a Tuono or, or something like a V4 sports bike. I, I think so, and I think as well, I go back to the point that if you owned one, you wouldn't just keep cracking the throttle all the time in the same manner because you wouldn't want to wreck the rear tyre. And um, I think you'd end up getting early 40s without any problems at all. Yeah. Well, I think we, as we've gone on this ride, we've actually been cracking the throttle less and less, haven't we? Yes. We've actually just been enjoying just cruising around the, the city and enjoying the scenery a bit more than, and not just cracking it open all the time, cracking one off constantly. <laughs> <laughs> And I think that's the beauty of this bike, isn't it? It's just, it, yeah. it, it can do both. It can do both. It takes a lot for me to want to buy a bike, actually. Um, I think I'm annoyingly fussy. But I know I am, you know, because if it's got loads of... And I think, at the end of the day, any bike that you're going to buy, forget gadgetry, electronics, it has to ride nicely. And if it's got annoyances, you just want to sell it, I think. Well, I certainly do. And, um, you know, if you've got an irritating gearbox or the clutch is heavy and your wrist starts hurting after a short while, or it's got a snatchy throttle and you can't cure it, this has got none of those things. You know, you don't even think about it when you're riding it. It just feels natural. And it's, it's brilliant. And I would buy one. Um, similar as that. Yeah. I completely agree and on that bombshell, <laughs> oh, that bombshell. that's it guys thanks for watching we're trying to do if there's any comparison if you've enjoyed this and there's any other comparison reviews you want to see then let us know but i thought the gt versus the r was really interesting we're going to do the speed triple versus the street triple as a comparison similar sort of style so if there's anything else you can think of let us know and uh, we'll see if we can sort it out for you but thanks for watching and we'll see you next time